Do you want to talk about my diggy tattoo that I'm getting? Yeah. Mm, I'm so excited. Are you getting a diggy tattoo? Yeah, I'm getting a diggy tattoo. Before your mom gets here? Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Let's go home. Welcome back to the pod. We've got, um, oh my God, Diggy's doing a little double paw waiver right no, now. No, 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 is, is, there, is there a penguin? This is our small baby penguin. I'm gonna be honest. Um, if there was ever going to be an episode where you should visually watch or even circle back after listening to the audio, cause I know the audio comes out first and circling back and coming to the visual um, video of the pod, this would be the episode because Diggy has his festive pajama penguins on. Yeah, he got a penguins on. He's got a penguins on. Just in time for Christmas. Just in time for Christmas. I also think that penguins are appropriate through January and February. Just wanna just wanna put that out there. Okay. It's more of like an evergreen kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I think so. In like the winter seasons, the winter months. I get it. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Stop, <laughs> drop, roll, rate the pod. How's everyone's week? Uh, pretty good. Vlogmas day six is today. Still intact. Still intact. Um, Shout out Big Pharma. I didn't, <laughs> seriously, oh my God. We love you, baby. Okay, Keeps we're, me we're going. Not, we're not gonna name individual drug names. <laughs> today is Vlogmas day six. Uh, Lauren. I'll, Dickie just got a little smooch. We'll get rid of the cup. I had, I had this problem focused. last time. I know focus. I had this problem last time where I couldn't stay focused because he's it's just like I'm a third grade so teacher. Dick. And I'm like, I'll, I'll take the suckers away. <laughs> I'll take them all away. Oh my God, you got suckers in school? Yeah. I feel I, like that was like a choking hazard for I went like- to private school, shit was Yeah, re- you're relative. so right, you got private. Yeah. I was in that public system. We can tell. <laughs> that is so deeply offensive. <laughs> that is so incredibly offensive. And to most people in the world as well. Um, Didn't start Vlogmas day five yesterday until about 7 p.m. Was very close to not uploading a vlog, but um, here we are. Vlog has been currently in the process of posting right now. I'm headed to Big Bear today. Um, and Jeremy is a single parent for the next couple of days. I'm going to be having the best time yeah. with the boys. With the pups. Which is basically what I've been doing the last couple of days. Diggy and I had um, a really good time yesterday at the vet, or two days ago. I? Two days ago? Yeah. I, this was not something that we'd ever encountered because I feel like uh, Jeremy in has just been, uh, is always really busy. But I had a conflict, a scheduling conflict, and Diggy had to go to the vet. Two days ago? On Sunday, which is the time that Lauren scheduled it. It was an emergency. It is not. It's literally not an emergency, nor has it ever been an emergency. In fact, the the amount of times that Lauren's made appointments that now have rendered Moose and Diggy, well, actually just Diggy, no longer insured for certain categories (laughs) because certain things were not (laughs) an emergency. Outweighs. The I ones wanna. That I wanna give out this PSA because I did not know this. But when you sign up for pet insurance, there's like a ten day window. I'm sure when you sign up for insurance, is period. that how it is for all insurance? Insurance has been around since like the Romans. Right. So like they've probably really? figured out. Did the Romans had insurance? They had that blue Let's cross, that. that blue shield. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I'm pretty. They sure had the, that stone I'm shield. I'm pretty sure the Romans had insurance. Um. So yeah, there's there's usually a period when you sign up for insurance ah, of any kind. Look at me. Really. What does it say? Around 600 BC, the Greeks and Romans formed the first types of life and health insurance with their benevolent societies. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, someone's in sales. These societies provided care for families and deceased citizens. Such such societies continued for centuries in many different areas of the world and included funerary. That's a new word for me. Yeah, that's- Funerary. That sounds made up. Yeah, funerary rituals. I love reading new words for the first time in front of a half million people. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's my absolute favorite. Thank you I've all. never felt more confident than uh, trying to trying to struggle my way through a like, word that I I've never seen before. I caught myself in the edit last week. I, I read caffeine former and it's mm-hmm. caffeine informer, but that's not even a real word. I don't even know what you're saying right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> point is insurance uh, is nothing new. They've figured out a few ways yeah. to get you. Oh my God, well, anything pre-existing fucks you because that's not covered. But things um, that aren't even pre-existing, but because Lauren decides to not read the fine, fine print and you know bring in appointments during that 10 day window now become pre Okay, that was actually an emergency last time. That was the time when they told us that Diggy had a fucking broken neck. Okay, because he was in so much debilitating pain. Lauren, I just have one- And also look at this neck now, I just, I just have thriving. One, I just have one <laughs> question for you and then we'll move on. Uh-huh. I want a one word answer. Okay. Did Diggy have anything wrong with his neck? Yeah, but, oh no, but his neck, no. Did neck? he have anything wrong with his neck? back? No. Did he have a really expensive $4,000 stomach ache? Yes. 
And I've never been so confident that we are mother and son. <laughs> Moving on. So Jeremy took Dee to the vet on Sunday. And when I tell you that this fucker has been kind of like delivering information, like a recap from the vet in oh, this increments. I'm sorry, am I this fucker? Yes. Go on. Yes. Go on. I, I, we, I want to be on FaceTime for every vet appointment moving forward because the increments that I have been receiving, like, I feel like he made it seem like very mild and everything was very chill. Like coming back, he's like, oh yeah. So basically Diggy's got like a sketchy little like bump on his paw that's like gotten progressively bigger at an alarming rate. Like today it looks smaller. Does it? Yep. That's because they drained it. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Not um, that you would know, I would know. <laughs> yeah, I wish that I had known. I wish anyway, I had been on FaceTime Lauren knowing. drops at 9.30 on Sunday when I have shit to do. That's completely untrue. Hey, it's not factual. Um, would you be able to take Diggy to the appointment? It'll be like five minutes. And I was like, yeah, sure. And I'm sorry that I asked you to do a parental and then duty. At 10 a.m. I took him and was there for 90 minutes. I'm sorry that you don't love our son and don't want to commit to his well-being. It's weird. That's what I, I'm hearing. Because I immediately did it. That's that's actually what I'm hearing. I'm hearing I immediately did it. I'm hearing the complaints that and you now, had to do it. No, I'm hearing the complaints that I'm not giving you all the information in- Yeah, because I feel like in severity, he's been like saving increments of information to deliver in different tiers. I think to provide me from spiraling, which I, I've ended up spiraling anyway. So I feel like you should just get to me all prevents, at once. not provide you with spiraling. Pro no, well, no, you, you literally have provided me with spiraling. <laughs> but I think your tactic was to prevent spiraling, but here we are being provided with the spiraling and I am now spiraling. And I'm still spiraling, yep. I get it. So worst case scenario is that Diggy loses a whole toe bean. Okay, hold on, all right. So, okay, let's just take three steps back. So everyone knows who's everyone. When you take your child to the doctor uh -huh. and there's both of you there, uh -huh. you both get the information at the same time. And the sense, the more sensitive of the two right. would like, like they wanna hear all of the possible scenarios. Yeah, they, of course. They wanna go through all of the worst case scenarios. I wanna they, be, I want the full picture. They want to, have a mild heart attack. Yeah. Despite the fact that the doctor has said implicit, just explicitly. I want to know the options. We won't the know anything can. until the tests get back. When the test gets back, uh -huh. we'll uh -huh. look at the abnormalities and the irregularities, yeah. and then we'll discuss the options for those at that point in time. Listen, I just feel like if there's a possibility of losing a whole bean on the toe, the, t the bean of the toe, I just feel as if we should be we should be cherishing and spending extra time with the specific bean that he might lose in the event that he has to lose a whole toe bean. Okay, he's not losing beans, one, two, if you look at WebMD and you type in oh, you're dying mild every day. headache. Yeah, exactly. You probably have testicular cancer, <laughs> breast cancer, uh -huh. toe cancer, right. shoulder cancer. And you two are losing a baby. Tongue cancer uh -huh. and you can't have children anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds about right. So like, I'm not gonna go off of anything until the tests come back. He's gonna be fine. I know, but like you delivered all the information eventually. So why not just do it all in one swoop? Because it's been better to like dish. I I, I want to like, I'm gonna test the water. Yeah. I want to bring it up a couple degrees, uh -huh. and then you won't even realize that it's up a couple degrees. Uh -huh. I'll tell you that it's now up a couple degrees. Except for I've been go, clocking what? you at every degree of increase. Oh, look at the baby. His breath smells like a butthole. I butthole. know. I know. We gotta brush his teeth soon. He doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good at all. He doesn't and smell good. He's got good. two more rotten ones in there. Yeah, that gotta know come that out. That's gotta come out. Too. Yeah. Oh, the the poor torpedo baby. face. Baby. This is a torpedo face. So, anyways, um, I don't know how I feel about unsupervised vet visits for well, the other. Because you're leaving for three days. Adults in the room. You think there'll be a more vet visit when I'm gone? Another one? Well, the test is coming back. Uh... <laughs> how do the guys feel? I literally am so stressed already thinking about having a human child and the helicopter mom that I will be. Like, do you know how many thousands of years humans have just figured it the fuck out? And yeah. we didn't even have penicillin. You think that this little penguin Jamie boy can just figure it out? Well, this little penguin Jamie boy didn't exist 200 years ago. Right, so I'm saying now, I just feel as if, like when you're like, oh, dogs are ancestors of wolves. <laughs> And then you see Diggy sitting like this in his penguin jammies. Yeah. I'm like, I just feel as if somewhere we veered off the path of wolf ancestors. Yeah, like I've, I've had two huskies before and I, I even for them, yeah. I was like, 
It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Like the one that's like cuddling up underneath the blanket next to you in yeah. like 72 degree weather, just panting because he doesn't know what to do. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. You would not have pulled many sleds. No. What, what was that for? For the, the Iditarod in Alaska? The the mushing? Yeah. Iditarod, I-T-E. I, another word that I am completely, Yerda. entirely it was to get with. a medication across the state, I believe, right? The whole state? Yeah, you're spelling that about as well as I am, Devin. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, I did a rod. Yeah, I did the a rod. sled dog race, most commonly known as the I did a rod, is the annual long distance sled. Yep. From Anchorage to Nome. No. With, without the G. Nome. Yeah. With no G. Yep. Look at that. Um, okay, enough about Diggy. I just like, I, we could do a whole episode on Diggy. Look Except at for, we're now going to ship him away to boarding school, too. Oh, I'm devastated. What does that mean? So I did this with Moose when he was a puppy. It's like a crash camp, crash camp, crash course boot camp for pups. And we've met with probably like uh, over the span of like having two dogs. Now I've probably met with like five or six different trainers. And obviously every dog trainer has like their own um, methods and tactics. And the guy that we met with yesterday was hands down the best that I've ever, no, I feel like. Miles Fox. Miles Fox. That was- That, that was, should be his new IG name, Miles right, Fox. It's right now, it's like Miles trains or Miles- The dog something, trainer. Dog or something. It and it's like Miles Fox, yeah. yeah. Um, and he was incredible. And so there are dogs that do really well with just like, um, you know, at home sessions every few weeks. And there are dogs that do better when they get to spend more time and have more structure. And I think Diggy is a pup who is wildly stubborn. You know, the old adage, you can't teach a dog, old dog, new tricks. Entirely untrue. It's Listen, I actually think that it's going to be harder to unteach Moose some of his bad habits than it is to teach Diggy new habits. I wonder if, is there, a, does boarding school for kids have the same thought? You just send them away and hope they come back better? Maybe, honestly. I feel like that's more of like a, I don't want to deal with you for eight months of the year. Like, right. and they just fuck them off. Fuck, can yeah, we, fuck off with can we reserve a spot for our unboard kid already? <gasps> How am I going to be a helicopter mom when my kid is, <laughs> is miles away? That's why. How will I be a help? I feel like maybe that's that's more stressful. Like, I don't know if that'd be like an out of sight, out of mind type of thing. You really do love to take the world's problems and just throw them right on your shoulders. Oh, it's exhausting being me. I did get an 85 readiness score last night though on that's my cute. aura ring. That's cute. And what was that's your readiness cute. score? 91. No, that was your sleep score you said. What was your oh. readiness score? Yeah. So ever since I Justine's been here, um, she got me on to the aura ring and I'm fucking loving it. I have literally it. been so obsessed Is with the aura ring good? for, wow. Oh, that's quite good. Is is ninety good? Wow, it says that I got an uh, an eighty cal workout in at eight fifty three. I think while I was stressing around like the pa pacing around the house, packing for my trip today. You know, it's funny. Wow. I consistently get better sleep if I've had a fat glass of wine before I go to bed. <laughs> I'm not I think there's actually kidding. something about red wine being good for your heart. Like in moderation, can we get a fact check on I'm that? I'm getting 27% deep sleep. That's fucking wild. So that I'm, is so much deep sleep. How much did I of get? Of my eight night? hours and 47 minutes last night, I got two hours and 20 minutes of deep sleep, two hours and Damn. 35 minutes of REM sleep. Damn. Yeah. I got, okay, I got 34%, two hours, 29 minutes of REM sleep, but only 14% deep sleep. Damn. Not great. Not Efficiency great. though, 87%. That's pretty good. Didn't do great on my Wordle, but Is I did- Is 94% good for sleep efficiency? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have as much stress in your life as you do when you're a helicopter Shout mom. out red wine. Oh, shout out red wine. I'm in my fucking red wine. Wait, so where do we stage. land on this? Is there is there health benefits? Yes, in moderation has long been thought of as heart healthy. Which is probably why my mom drinks a glass every night. Oh my God, I wish that I liked red. I just can't get on board. Yo. Are there health, hen health benefits? Are there health benefits to champagne every day? <laughs> <laughs> if I only drink champagne and sparkling water, <laughs> is it okay if I've never had a, a drip of the flat water? Do you do white wine? Yeah. I don't mind a white, but I'd rather do like a, I'd rather bubbly. do a bubbly, a Prosecco. You love your bubbly. It I results bubbly. In, slow, in lower blood pressure. This, okay. 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 That's yeah. all I needed to hear. That's enough for me. Don't even read the, the just that, that's good. Leave, and real quick, that. I, I did <laughs> see the name of that URL and it didn't exactly scream. You know what? I'm hearing facts and I'm hearing that everything on the internet is a proven fact and we're going to leave it right there. And I cannot wait to continue my journey with Prosecco every day. Moving on. <laughs> Oh God. So this is the annual Vlogmas Big Bear trip where we are not snowboarding this year. Um, because honestly, Remy- well, thank God that we 
are storing your snowboard. Storing snore your snowboard. That sounded Australian. It sounded like our snore friend Nick Snowbird. Your snowbird. Yeah. Thanks. Shout out Nick Christ. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I. There's no good way to store that fucking stupid snowboard. There, there really isn't. And, and snowboard boots are wildly bulky and inconvenient to snore. To oh my god, why to snore? To snore. Yeah. To snore. Well, I know. I I, I have a 94% like readiness score, so like it's different for me. And no, I I get it. Yeah. I get it. You were in fact snoring last night. Yeah, was I? Yeah. Red wine. Yeah, red wine. Also, too, just whenever on your back, like you're um, a, a beefy guy, and I think like rolling you over would be a lot of work. You're 200 pounds. What the fuck do you mean? Why are you looking at me like you're not beefy? You're a large man, and all like you're six four. What if do I you called mean? you beefy. Yeah, I'd throw myself off a cliff. <laughs> I'm five five. <laughs> so, like the beefcake. <laughs> that would severely impact my body dysmorphia. Okay, yeah, would it? Right. Yes, if you call me beefy. Just a half rack of ribs over here. I feel like that's a compliment for guys. Guys want to be beefy. Yeah. Devin, you want to be beefy? No. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Okay, maybe not. I just- Diggy's not... a little beefy. Diggy, beefy. <laughs> Diggy is beef. Diggy is beef. He's kind of like a jerky. Or like a sausage. Yeah. Yeah, Diggly's. Um, yeah, so the the Big Bear trip usually results in you like fucking like having a whole bunch of issues going up and in, Last it. year, so peaceful. Yeah. Well, mostly because I think I told you, I was like, I don't want to hear about Big Bear. No, last year- Ever again. We, we went back to the original, the original peaceful trip that it started off as. I feel like there's some context that you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm not kidding. Every fucking truth or drink that I do, someone brings up the Big Bear drama. Cause it was the very first year of COVID vlogmas that there was just like mass amounts of, of just slander going on. And so we last year decided that we wanted to make the trip peaceful. Seems like an accusation. And an accusation, the fuck I made a whole video on it. I was like, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not getting dragged into this shit. Let me out of it. And now it's peaceful and calm and wholesome and we're making gingerbread houses and going ice skating. I look forward to the defamation lawsuit. And um, the defamation lawsuit, it's not defamation when it's a fact, is it? Well, defamation would be the intent to, slander would need to be true. Okay. Libel written truth. Uh -huh. Defamation is like you're, you, you made it an effort to defame someone. It's not my fault when someone makes themselves look bad. Themselves look bad. She she hits it. She got southern for just a quick sec. That's nice. Moving on. Uh, but just like a cute, wholesome trip. We're gonna just like watch movies and make, play the little slutty triple X game. Make do play the little slutty triple X game. I think we're gonna force Remy how to play Catan. Learn okay, how, learn how to play. No, oh, I can't wait for Remy. Yeah, I don't know if that's quite her speed, but we'll we'll see. Whatever Remy wants, Remy gets. Yeah, I know. Oh, Queen Remy. Yeah. show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You know what I wish came with a user manual? My brain. Um, sometimes I would just like to be able to open up the manual and make when my anxiety kicks in and just like what, control alt delete. What was it? Control alt delete or like the restart button. I feel like everything just, just gets fixed. Button just the button smashing. Well, Absolute actually, button smashing. Actually, I feel like we are we kind of are button smashing. No, no, that's that's my current state is Got button it. smashing. Right. Um, and so I need the restart button. Um, and so unfortunately, that's not how it works. But something that can be useful is better help. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure. Whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent, therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. BetterHelp has been a huge help for me personally during my journey with anxiety. I call it a journey because, um, you know, some days are great, some days are never so, not so great, and sometimes it feels like it'll never end. But having BetterHelp on my side makes me feel a little more hopeful. Therapy can make something that seems to be taking over your life a little more manageable. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash WT9. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash W-T-9. Have fun. And I'm alone for three days, so I'm going to be throwing fucking ragers. Yeah. Um, I want to change the sheets. 
Uh, <laughs> got some organizing I want to do. Throw some, some of Lauren's some shit away. Maybe while she's not here to like so, throw some what out. La- throw some of Lauren's shit away. No. Yeah, every time she leaves, it's like a new opportunity to throw like six no. more fucking soft things that have like been no. just like taking up space that she's in her I resist. donated so many soft things the other day to the pup shelter. That's so nice. Diggy's fucking paws are so soft. It's too bad one of them is gonna have to be removed. Jeremy, stop. They're just so soft. When we got them, they were so rough, but I'm now so the little stressed. baby paws. I know paws. because he doesn't have the stress in his life. Oh, Diggy, I love this dog so much. You want to talk about Kanye? What? You want to talk about Kanye? Not particularly. <laughs> Do you want to talk about my Diggy tattoo that I'm getting? Yeah. I'm so excited. Are you getting Diggy tattoo? Yeah, I'm getting a Diggy tattoo. Before your mom gets here? Yeah, yeah. Good call. When it's already on the skin, there's nothing that can be done. Well. Oh. <laughs> I mean, l- listen, sometimes it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. True, totally. There's a couple times where that does not exist, but yeah. Also, I'm just realized that this podcast is going to go up before I get the tattoo. So now I'm like, do I? I've got myself in a little bit of murky waters here. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't not have a diggy tattoo if I got a Bubby's tattoo. Oh my God, just got a sample um, of the I'm a fucking delight blanket. It's adorable. Yeah. It's so cute. I'm so happy with it. Ship it. It's coming. Good. We ordered, I think we, we placed our order. I like how like, I brought my mother up and Lauren goes, I just got a sample of I'm a fucking delight. Like how can you fear my mother and think that you're a delight at the same time? Because I am a delight. And I also, those are two true facts. So. Yeah. Um, let's see who's a fucking delight after your first Jesus fucking Christ at dinner. Uh, well, no, now I know the tier of things that can't be said. I know, I know. And Jesus fucking Christ is at the very top of things that are blacklisted. Yeah. I mean, last last week we did a whole episode on blacklisted topics for the holiday season. Yeah. And um, Lauren saying, I'm a Jesus fucking Christ, I'm a fucking delight is at the top. And now we're clear on that. Yeah. And I'm so glad that we've set some boundaries and set some rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you had more on that topic, but uh, I'm gonna bulldoze over it anyway. Great and move God. on to the fact that- yeah. um, Spotify's wrapped came out uh-huh. for the podcast this last week. Oh yeah. And we are oddly so many people's favorites. Literally, I woke up that day to so many DMs and I'm like, whenever I get a lot of DMs, I'm like, oh my God, something dramatic happened. Right. Like it sends me into an immediate spiral like of something tape finally negative. leaked. Exactly. And I want to be very clear that I don't have a sex tape. And I, before yet. people come looking for it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I immediately start spiraling that something like bad has happened. And um, it was it was such a nice surprise to be the number one on so many people's Spotify Wrapped. Well, and for the people that don't have dog hearing, that was the number one people on so many people's Spotify Wrapped. I also got a lot of messages too of people being like, like, um, I don't want you to take offense to this, but like, I only watch on YouTube, so you're not on my rap, but like, you're one of my top podcasts. My favorite are the ones that like we're like number three on their rap. So like, I don't really watch anything on Spotify. Yeah. I, <laughs> I only watch on YouTube, and I'm like, it would appear that and you do. We're still your number three. Yeah. Flattered. I just, I think it's um, it's adorable actually. Oh my God, Spotify Raptor is so cute. My- um, Apple does such an ugly one. Do they even do one? <laughs> Spotify Awful. Wrapped has truly like the the way that people, like the, the grip that it has on our society when Spotify Wrapped comes out um, is just the chokehold. I mean, I watched that show on Netflix about like Daniel Eck and like on the come up and everything. Oh, that's right. And I don't know how factual it is, but it was fascinating to see just how like the balls someone has to have to be like in the middle of Sweden Mm -hmm. to be like, I'm going to make a better version of a product that already exists, Mm -hmm. the Pirate Bay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do it. Love Pirate Bay. (laughs) No. Big Pirate Bay fan. Big Bear Share, LimeWire fan, big fans. I think you're a fan of the torrenting technology and peer to peer. As a whole, big LimeWire fan. Okay, it was a time period. Yeah, it was illegal. It was um, a, it was a moment in time. <laughs> Point is, dude looked at that mm. and all of the major labels and was like, "I'm going to make a better interface for all of this, and I'm going to make it legal." The fact that he got people on board is quite impressive. I think a miracle. Yeah, no, literally, literally. Yeah, and, and like here most artists still don't understand how the actual like monetary side of that works, which mm-hmm. I think is why everyone's like Spotify and terrible, and a lot of it is. But it, as a whole, better than the Bearshire era. Love Bearshare. 
downloaded so many viruses by accident. Uh, I could see that. You would just be a I walking I had hazard. a friend in elementary school who um, we were on her computer playing like Habbo Hotel or Sims or something. And we went to go download a song and somewhere on her computer, her brother had downloaded porn. Oh yeah. And we were probably in grade like three. And so he would have been like in grade five or six mm. and he was download and, and she freaked out. It was so funny. Oh my God, it was so ridiculous. I just like, she didn't know if she should like tell on him or if she should delete it on his behalf or just like pretend that she had never seen it. Yeah, grade three, her was spiraling. Remember when we had to download porn? No. It had to download the whole file and then open it up to see if it was any good. Did you do that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Devin? I've never downloaded porn. That sounds like it would be- like, Devin, Devin, Devin. Okay. I can't imagine Devin's, like my oh, parents yeah, Devin, coming you're, across We are that. three years younger? Uh, Yeah, 26. Five, yeah, okay. Five years yeah, younger. Yeah, okay, okay, that makes more sense. It's yeah, You just missed difference. the era I, I, yeah. Yeah. Of, do you of dial porn up? viruses. What's dial up? Yeah, exactly. There oh we go. God. I don't want to hear it. There it is, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Back exactly. when speeds were in KB. <laughs> and it was like- Kilobyte per second. Yeah. That was someone's kink right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, we just went to the streamies this weekend and they always like post- That was your segue? What? That's no, kink I was right gonna there. say, we I went was to like, the streamies. whenever I like have cute shoes on and they post like full body photos, I'm like, can't wait to see how long these take to get up on wiki feet. They're already up, I'm sure. Do you think they are? Let's check. Oh look. my God, check. Let's take a I look. I had really cute shoes on and they were like clear stilettos. I just want everyone to know that like there was no editing between uh, that was someone's case. Can I just say, we have traveled to this page so many times that <laughs> just by writing in wiki, you know exactly immediately came up with Lauren's page. <laughs> your butt cheeks look great in that top right one. Thank you I took that so picture. much. Exactly. That was your, I think that was- uh, uh, I've taken all the, like the, the most sexual pictures that you have on her. Look, where? Look at my oh, eye. Was that the M? No, I feel like it would be at the top. I think it'd be on the top. Okay, great. Can we well, filtered by most recent? Let's give it time. Let's see. Newest mm. uploads, yeah. Uh, just hit apply, yeah. I, okay, I'll start uploading then. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see that top right picture? Yeah. Blood yeah. <laughs> that is the art of posing right there because that was, I feel like earlier than my, my like getting serious about my booty journey. And so like that's the art of posing where my booty looks much better than I think it actually did in person back then. The art of posing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so like 200 photos in order to get the like perfect absolutely. angle. Yes, I assure you, absolutely. I don't have the patience for that. You got 20. Yeah, you're right. Usually with Jeremy, I've got about like 45 seconds. Thank God I put in the fucking hours before we met. You you know goddamn well. Goddamn. Yeah, <laughs> just how hard it is <laughs> to get a man uh -huh. to get a fucking picture that doesn't have a thumb in it. Yeah. That doesn't, have- That's just fully like off. Yeah. Uh, yeah Framing is I off. The it's rule brutal. of fucking yeah. thirds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Your angles. Jeremy takes a pretty good pick. Take a great pick. Take a great pick. Yeah. like with, between, Refuses to be in the pick, but takes a great pick. I don't want to be in the pick. Yeah. I, oh, I need you to order a white sweater, preferably cable knit for our upcoming Christmas photo next week. Can it be schmear? Can there be what? Can it be schmear? It can be schmear. Yeah. Okay. It can totally be schmear, but it needs to be like a clean, bright white mm. to match with the other pups. And oh, the overall theme. match the other pups? Yeah. You probably got a polyester blend. No, 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 no. We've got a metallic puffer jacket and a blue cable knit. Okay. okay. So I need you to stand down. Will you just pull up real quick Sunspell? S U N S P E L. Yeah, just hit the enter. This is Jeremy's. Like, if he could be an men, ambassador for a brand. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, it's literally hit happening men, live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get in there, go to men. Oh yeah, look at this, go to sweaters. But is it going to come in time? Well, you, pay, you got to pay for express shipping because this comes from like Europe or someplace, right? England. Uh, England. Yeah, go over to that. Um, you click into one of these. Maybe filter by color. I feel like we need a, it needs to be like bright white, not like a cream, like bright white. Color. Diggy, diggy snoring. Yep. White. Cream. Oh my gosh, except cookies. White. Why is your chrome in like French? No, cream, not white, not cream. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Top left. Cream. I think there's some solid options here. That one might work. Listen, I'm a pretty good Photoshopper and Lightroom-er. Okay. Yeah, we can tell by the mass cheeks. I would never- Photoshop your ass? Edit my ass cheeks like that. Ooh, I love that. 
I agree. Uh, okay, well, so yeah, that, you guys saw Young Gravy. So Streamies, um, for those who don't know, Streamies are like the, the, every award show you've ever heard of, but for the and, internet. Internet kids. And the emphasis on kids. I have been adjacent to this industry for mm -hmm. a lot longer than I think I even remember. Yeah. And I always have a pretty good read on what's going on. I knew no one. It was, I, I like felt out of touch and old. Also, nothing makes me feel older. I and felt like, it at peace. I can, I can get a read on the demographic when someone comes up to me and they're like, oh my God, I watched you when I was growing up. And now they're like, they're like 25 or whatever. And, and they have I'm three like, kids on their hip. Oh, it's yeah. like, I see. I'm just yeah. the prehistoric YouTube fossil that yeah. is 10 years later still on the internet. Well, there was a comment that Jeremy and I both were just infuriated by. So the streamies notoriously will like roast other YouTubers. And in the past, it's been really, really bad. And they've had to like walk it back, I feel like. Really? Um, yeah, there was one episode or one episode, one year with John, someone who was so funny. And honestly, it's the writers. It's not the host. You know what I mean? Like the writers are responsible for like, like what the people are saying. It's all teleprompter. Um, but yeah, they've definitely had to walk it back. I feel like in the past, it's been like a little too intense and it's it's pretty brutal. Um, but they made a dig at Justine who won a fucking streamy and they made a joke about it. Like, she didn't win. what? She didn't win. She didn't win. She didn't win. No, she won. who won? I don't know. Fuck that person. It wasn't even, Justine. wasn't even presented. I, it also wasn't presented, which was so ridiculous. Or announced. But so many categories just like didn't get presented on stage, which was so like, I felt I felt so bad for people. Not the point, point is. They made a joke about like her being there and then being something, something along the lines of like- You're old, you've like been here a long time. Like it's not 2006 or something. Yeah. And I was like, for her to still be on the internet 15 years later, like, I'm sorry, newbie. Some you've been here for a year and a half. In her prime. Like you better bow down to this internet queen over here, you fucking noob. Or how about you pay your respects by shutting the fuck up? <laughs> well said, well said. No, but we really didn't know that many people. You know what it was though? There was a ton of streamers and short form creators. Yeah. And so not even just like famous TikTok people since obviously like it's the YouTube streamies. So it's like very like YouTube creator based. Is it the YouTube streamies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is, I double checked. Cause I was like, who the fuck are all these people? But it was a ton of streamers and it was a ton of short form creators that I think do a lot of stuff in shorts. And Gordon Ramsay. And Gordon Ramsay, exactly. Um, Charlie D'Amelio won something. She is such like a cute, sweet little angel. Like she's so, like I am hoping so bad that the industry doesn't like break her and taint her because she is such like a wholesome little, little, little baby bird. What is she, origami? Little baby bird. That was like the the tattoo I have, the, uh, the cootie catcher. That, which is that word that I really wish that they would review. Cootie catcher? Yeah. I took a poll and I was like, do you think that this is a cootie catcher or a fortune teller? And fortune it, was, teller. it was about 50, 50. Fortune teller. It really was. Cootie catcher. In Midwest, we call it fortune teller. Okay. Which I think is equally as offensive. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which, which, which way we should actually lean with that. Um, but other than that, we really like, honestly, I didn't even really know the host. I didn't know um, a ton of people. It was kind of like OG people like Rhett and Link were there, Justine and, um, like a handful of like OG creators. Well, they sat us fossils at, at the back of the of the like the 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 the, the bottom area, which was good. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, for sure. That was like like was if helpful. there was like A tier, B tier, we were definitely like a B plus seating. Oh, A minus. A minus. Yeah, great seating. We sat with Manny. We were in the area. Was, yeah, we were, we were in the, the area. we were in the ring. Okay, we're, we were for sure in the ring. We sat down. I feel like I was like Tana, Manny, guys, Justine. Mm -hmm. And yep. then about six people later, we didn't know anyone. Yeah. <sighs> it was it was so weird because I feel like normally at so many of these like internet events, we, we know like, I don't know, it's just people that you've been making content around like your peers for so many years. And this year I was like, I consume so much content too. And I was like, how do I not know who a lot of these people are? And like, that's on me. Like that's not on these creators because they've got millions of subscribers. I just like haven't run into their content. Yeah. To be to be honest, I feel like it's a reflection on how many people are doing social media yeah, these days no, it's too. Yeah, no, there's just so many creators now that you just COVID. can't even keep up. Yeah. Like you really, you really can't. And also like people who've doing been doing content full time for two years. Yeah. Would have started in COVID. That's true. And when, I wouldn't have met them at any events or anything. Right. And also if you've only been making content for two years, I'm like, oh, you are fresh and full of energy. Yeah. I'm tired. It's been 10 years, I'm tired. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. I'm tired, babe. <laughs> That's how we smell expiration dates. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm making 25 videos this month. I don't want to. I don't want to hear anything about expiration dates. Great, but I am tired, and it's only day six of Vlogmas. So yeah, check on like, me. Check on me next week. No, check on me next week. No. Um. So yeah, the stream is good. It was it's cute. Fun. Yeah, it was really cute. If you are a fan of it, sushi is incredible. Gas station sushi, however, not so much. Finding the right sushi makes all the difference. The same goes for finding the right doctor. With ZocDoc, you could find the right doctor for you and your network and in your neighborhood and one that makes you feel like you're in good hands and you're supported and you're hurt even if you're telling him about questionable sushi decisions. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance and are available when you need them. Finding the right doctor is huge when you need it. I have a personal hatred of going to doctor's office because of experience I've had in the past, but ZocDoc has changed the game. They helped me find my favorite doctor with their verified patient reviews from real people who have made real appointments. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the doctor that's right for you, book an appointment, in person or remotely that works for your schedule. On ZocDoc, you could find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, get that mole checked out or anything else, ZocDoc has you covered. ZocDoc's mobile app is as easy as ordering a ride to a restaurant or getting delivered to your house. Search, find, and book doctors with a few taps. Go to ZocDoc.com wild and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C. D-O-C dot com slash wild, ZocDoc dot com slash wild. Um, so holidays, have you gotten a Christmas yet? No, no, we're not even close. <laughs> I have no I, idea. I really want to be very clear that I have not, I didn't spend more than $300 on you. Can we run the fucking first clip back? <laughs> Play the fucking know, first one. Play it back right last now. Time, last time I was like, shut I didn't up. spend more shut than- up, <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Play the clip. One I did, time. I didn't spend that much money on you though. I just want to give you a heads up. Oh. She said not worth it. Yeah, what the fuck? Less than 500. Really? Yeah. The fuck? Jeremy wants the, more. You better go buy the fucking gift. Less than 500. What did everybody hear? <laughs> Babe, increments. Increments. There's two things. Now you didn't lie to me. I, I didn't. You didn't lie to no, me. You said you spent not. less than 500. Yeah, that wasn't a lie. But less than 300? Yeah, less than 300. What did you give me? Not much. A fucking gift card to Applebee's? Yeah. That would be a lot of meals. Yeah, that would be, that would be <laughs> so many meals. But now I'm afraid it's gonna be like two, 13. Yeah, no, no, no. 12. I didn't, yeah, yeah. I really- Well, so what, what the fuck do you want, princess, for $250? I don't know. We don't, I don't feel like we just don't need anything. That's not the point of Christmas. What? That's not the point of Christmas. Oh, is it the point of Christmas presents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Presents and penguin jammies. I saw a, a buddy of mine posted the other day. He was like, ha, like the, the meme of um, fucking, what's the guy from The Boys? Uh, oh, a Homelander? A Homelander. When he's like trying to come up with things to like for adults to get me. And when I'm adult that just buys whatever I want. That's what's the so here. hard. It's like you buy the things that you need. I just buy the things that I want. Also that. Yeah. Also that. So it's hard. Yeah, like all of the things that like my mother told me is like when I was a kid. Like, well, yeah. when you're an adult, you'll understand you're not just gonna just buy stuff all the time, all year round. I'm like, no, that that's, is actually proven to be so exactly wildly what untrue. What I do. Yeah, exactly. I think about something that I didn't know existed seven seconds before. And, then, and I go, where's my fucking auto ooh, fill? Oh, you know Send what's fun? Me. Tell me your last, go open up your Amazon. I wanna know your last five Amazon purchases. They're all they're just gonna be so boring. They're gonna be so yeah, I wanna hear them. Come on, come on, Karen, let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Give it to me. Give it to me. So the first, the most I'd recent. Like, I'd like the last 10 actually. I'd like the last 10. I love this segment. Go ahead. Go ahead. The most recent was mm -hmm. the plugs for the Christmas tree that make it so that it goes <gasps> Ooh, on. A little timer. At sunset and off at 1 a.m. Big fan. Second to last was the uh, pots and pans that your mother requested that we order. Oh yeah, the ceramic. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Third to last was some additional low voltage landscape lighting. <laughs> Fourth to last was the waterproof um, utility boxes that the wiring for said low voltage lighting okay. needs so that it doesn't, it doesn't short out. Okay, great, great. Before that, a new receiver for our gate <laughs> to be able to tie into our Tesla. Before that, a wine decanter. 
Before that, a oh. wine aerator. Oh my God. Before that, a, a new color temperature of lighting to go in our bulbs outside. You know what though? The lighting stuff's not like, it's no secret that you're a lighting guy. Fuck, before that, a new organizer for our stemware <laughs> in the kitchen. Before that, a new probiotic I'm trying. <laughs> before that, new waterproof pillow case covers in standard and king sized. Before that, Charmin ultra soft cushiony <laughs> touch toilet paper. Great choice. And before that, cord organizers for inside the house. <laughs> Oh my God, wow, so fun. I know, I know, I know. Okay, here we go. My last one arriving tomorrow by 10 p.m. is um, this like adhesive pet guard that you can put on the sides of furniture. Uh -huh. Diggy, 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 you're being quite distracting and adorable. Ugh, literally everything is adorable when you're wearing penguin jammies. Like he could get away with literal murder if he's wearing penguin jammies. All right, fucking count me in, order me some fucking penguin jammies. Oh my God, because you want to get away with murder. commit crimes. Okay, got yeah. it. Um, so this is a scratch protector for cats, but also a dog, just like protector in general. It's adhesive and you can put it on the sides of things. So Diggy's got one specific chair that he loves to pee on the side of. And so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna no! wrap it. I'm just gonna wrap it. Babe, no. I'm gonna wrap it. No. Don't Did I not just throw out my whole office carpet yesterday? <laughs> that thing was ugly. 11 by 14 feet. And not everything needs to stay. I love that rug. It was fucking purple and white. It looked like Alice in Wonderland had a shit. I loved that rug. And so anyway, that had to go. Oh and my God. So now we've just got no rug until Penguin Boy over here can get it together. Penguin. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got a roll of that coming. Um, I got this cute little LED lamp that, or LED light that attaches to the top of my vlog camera for a little bit of vlogmas lighting. Um, I've got some Christmas presents that I can't reveal um, because the specific parties that will be receiving said gifts are some of the only friends that do listen to the pod. <laughs> um, like if Remy or Tiff were getting gifts, they, I could just put them out loud because I know that they're not listeners. Um, I got some ornaments because the back of the tree- Should we start talking incremental more shit about them? I think so. I think so. I think so too. Think so. The only problem is that like some of those clips will probably get cut and end up on TikTok and Instagram and then they will see those. You think? Kind of a fun game though that we could do. You wanna actually, wanna, let's start one right now. Should we test the waters? Yeah, Should yeah. we test the waters? So like, Right now, we're we're in the middle of uh, of trying to schedule boarding school for the I pups. Know, that's exactly what I was going to say. And so I've decided that there's a month that Tiff and Matt have already scheduled uh -huh. that would be really convenient for us. Right, and it would need that. I mean, it would need. It would mean that they would be pushed back at least a month. They'd be evicted, but swapped, swapped, not evicted, swapped. Right. And so my suggestion is, I'm going to call Matt and, and I'm going to bribe him. No, but it's it's perfect. You're right. Because I've got family coming in March who, totally. who are basically flying out. My entire family's flying out basically with the purpose of meeting Dickie. It's like they say it's for us, but I know it's not. It's for Dickie. They've it's got for a whole it's and Dickie. It's exactly. And they've got a whole house rented out for a whole week. It's like a big family trip that's happening. This has only happened one other time in the past since I've lived in LA for six years. And if Diggy was at training camp. I would be, I would be, what's it called when you're excommunicated from your, excommunicated from your family? Is that a thing? Yeah. Can be excommunicated? I'd be excommunicated if Diggy was not here during the trip. Disowned? So we can't do March because of family visiting, right. but Moff could do March. So I'm gonna try and bribe Matt and I'm gonna leave it up to him as to whether or not he tells his fiance that I've Oh yeah, that's him. between them. Listen. That's between I'm them. I'm just saying this, buy yourself something nice, sweetheart. <laughs> if you gotta tell the wife, that's so on you. Hot. That's on you. Okay, I've got some golden red ornaments because I only have enough ornaments to decorate like 70% of the tree. And then I've really fucked myself because our tree goes up against a mirror. So you can just see the naked back half. I really fucked myself she had, that's my delight. So, <sighs> thank you. I've got also the penguin jammies. And then we also have another set of Christmas jammies that I feel like are just not as cute as the penguin jammies, but they have arrived. Um, I've got these little uh, pimple patches. I have- Lauren adorns her face with pimple patches and then forgets that they're on there and oh, then yeah, walks out of the, the house with just like a fucking 100%. Barbie star in the middle of her fucking forehead. I did a whole Zoom call with like a ton of like these like, like important investor people with a Hello Kitty sticker on my forehead once. And I got a side text halfway through the call 
Um, and someone was like, is that Hello Kitty in your forehead? And it was like too awkward to like take yeah. it off halfway through because then that would be like, that would be acknowledging that I forgot that it was there. So I just left it on the whole time. See, I would have, so, okay. In that scenario, yeah. I would've been like, I'm gonna have to stop everybody right now. If, do I have a fucking Hello Kitty sticking around my forehead right now? I, I would have had to call it out. Listen, I'm, I think adorable and Asian enough to have a Hello Kitty, Kitty, a Hello Kitty. <laughs> Whoa, I'm glitching. Hello Kitty sticker on my forehead and no one really question it. Listen, Hello Kinky. The thing that we can all decide I hate that after so watching much. your fucking AI That's Lenza for sure. is that AI thinks that you oh my God. fell out of Japan yesterday. No, but also AI cannot figure out my face. They either whitewash me or make me- First, they, two things. They Third, cannot two figure things, out. Two things. Who is they? The, the AI people. Who is they? The AI algorithm. I like how you immediately, you assigned them a pronoun. Yeah, they. They. Yeah. What if it's she? They, them. What if it's he? It. Yeah. <laughs> it, the yeah, it's probably a little closer. Okay, let me go through my Amazon purchases. Um, I ordered a whole new holiday table setting since we're having like actual Christmas dinner here. Oh, so you got, I got it off of Amazon. The snowflake, snowflake. Do I have, I, I feel like I haven't had an energy drink yet. And that was, that was like what made the last episode that I was cracked out on. It was brought to you by Alani New. And I feel like I'm missing that crackhead energy you go this grab morning. You real quick? Um, no, it's okay. Mine's sponsored by Blue Bottle today. So snowflake placemats that were quite adorable, a candle holder and some red flameless LED candles to go onto the candle holder as like the centerpiece. I also got these massive garlands to go on the mantle up the stairs um, and they're gonna be draped and it's gonna be adorable. You should see my crate and barrel history right now. Um, I also have some earrings. Ooh, I got some scrunch butt workout shorts, but they're, I, people keep trying to tell me on TikTok that these are just as good as like the really popular like brand name ones and they're not. Okay. The scrunch butt is not the same quality as like Elf Elite shorts. Like they're just not. So they're made on the same block in China. Maybe. But, but two different factories. Two different factories for sure. Yeah, like for sure. they're in Shenzhen. We, yeah. know, we know we, that. We know that, yeah. yeah. Or the one that starts with a G, Gauza or something. And it's just not the yeah, same. it's not the same. Um, and then I've got all of our props and items for our holiday photo shoot. The puffer, the knit, the earmuffs, the backdrop. It's gonna be adorable, I can't wait. Thank God I just ordered that new lighting too. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Well, Jesse's gonna come, he's gonna bring the flash, he's gonna bring the all the lights and stuff. It's a- uh, I love it. It's gonna be a time. Yeah. I can't wait. My I, favorite time of the year. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. 100%, hands down. Yeah, and anyone who's like, I like Halloween better. It's like, yeah, in college. Well, I, I feel like because Thanksgiving is such a huge deal in the States, like I feel like I met a lot of people who were like, oh yeah, Thanksgiving hands down is over Christmas. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, Lauren, we are remembering the time that we peacefully sat down, pilgrims and Indians. Shut and up, we, colonizers. And we shared dinner together yeah. over a peaceful dinner right, table. This is exactly how it went. And then we shook hands <laughs> on how to move forward within our society. Okay, colonizer. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like someone asked me today, like to like, what's like Thanksgiving about? And like, I, I said that joke and they're mm -hmm. like, oh, that's so nice. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so <laughs> nice. Let me walk back. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So this AI generated art stuff, like I feel like replaced the Spotify wrapped chokehold that I had on society. And everyone was, I spent probably over $25 and I submitted, I got 350 different avatars um, and-, and they just couldn't figure my face out. I feel like some people had incredible ones and they got like, like one of my friends got a pack of 50, like that's the smallest amount. And every single one, he looked amazing. Devin, go to my Instagram. I posted my five best and my five worst. I will say though, the one thing that they did get right, yeah, not necessarily accurate, but they did get right is the fucking rat. They gave me giant titties in so <laughs> many of them. Ah, look at these Which things. is crazy. Look at the fucking rack. I had yitties. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah. so here's my top five. Some of these, I, also my face looks just like completely mirrored. You know what I mean? Like they just took one half of my face. That one's really pretty. Yeah. That's from my blonde really era. Cool. It's like very like fairy-esque. 10. Okay, wait. Can we get a zoom in on the hands here? What the fuck is going on here? Like the also the AI generator could not figure out the hands and limbs. Things got really, really weird and scary, which you would think would be pretty straightforward considering no, hands think about are- it. This, there's so many different, like, I like guess. if you do this, right? But like, listen, five fingers on each hand, two thumbs, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, like which which finger is which? I don't know. And that yeah. one, that one, I feel like I've done that pose a lot. The jawline is definitely a little more cutting. This one just looks like an actual photo that I've like taken before at some yeah. point in yeah. my pink hair era. And they gave you like, like. That's, like, that's a great size of boob. 
Also, the, what's your necklace? Is that real? No. Those are brass, it's miniature brass knuckles. Do you know, the boobs are, what do you think? The boobs are too small or too big? I, they're too small. Oh <laughs> my God, you heard it here first. Jeremy hates my boobs. No, those are AI boobs. Your boobs are great. Um, so we've got <laughs> That's a, a, dick finger. a terrifying look at, looking little finger here. Like what, in what world? Also my teeth Your here. Your nice fucking Tic Tacs. Also, no, no, it looks like just, I'm a 45 year old mm. British smoker. No, it's like you and a horse fucked. I don't know, it's not good whatsoever. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. I also love the AI good. generated tattoos. Yeah. Okay, like, let's see our next one. <laughs> oh, That's oh a what ear. is that ear? That's like cauliflower, like UFC ear. Again, terrifying teeth that just like aren't aligned even close in the proper spot of where teeth should be. <laughs> You know what though? I felt really bad because people tagged a lot of the same girl being like, oh, this this one looks like this specific girl. Um, <laughs> my lips have just absorbed like, back into my face it's like, of this one. This one just like, I feel like this 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 hot shot here yeah. <laughs> would be like in the fucking depths of the girls who tried out for Blackpink. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But like, it doesn't, it's like a normal looking person. It just doesn't look like me. You know what I mean? Like no, I'm sure I know. that looks like someone. Yeah. And then the last one's my personal favorite. <laughs> I'll be honest, certain mornings, pretty accurate. <laughs> this is what I look like without lash extensions and my eyes look really the small. Fuck out. But it's just like, my face looks totally normal, but they they took every feature of my face and made it 75% <laughs> smaller than it's supposed to be. And this is what you get. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Like, I just, I, I in my head, I can't do it out loud, but like I can just picture, I can hear in my head what kind of sound effect goes with this, this person. Oy. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like something like that. It's just, exactly. It's fucking adorable, babe. Oh but the, um, none of those really had showed up the rack that they gave you. Yeah, I know. They I gave know. you fucking yits. I'll, I'll put a, I'll send a photo that can go on screen of like the actual boobies that yeah. they gave me. So like they, being AI, it. wish you had Ds. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So Mia submitted a bunch too. And without even submitting any like nudes from her OnlyFans, they made her AI avatars just completely naked, just butt Wait, ass so, naked. Okay, so I was wondering about that. So she didn't submit any naked ones? No naked ones. Cause they were naked. They, they were naked. Cause and they, they, did they cross it out? Or no. did she do it? Cross what out? Like I saw, cause she posted on her close friends. Oh, then she probably, she probably X'd out a little bit of it. Also, yeah. they, sometimes they just like put boobs in weird places and stuff. And like there's lo like lumps and bumps that just the AI generator just like could not figure out like what to do just with. Like, why is there a nipple on that guy's Exactly. Head? Why Why are you tacking this third boob onto the neck? Does it have access to Instagram though? I no. don't know, no. And I, mean, I gotta- It could have access to Instagram. I don't think this one's supposed to. But yeah. she doesn't She doesn't post nudies on Instagram. Like it'd have to, they'd have to pull from OnlyFans, which is locked content, you know, unless, unless AI is a subscriber, which I wouldn't, but I mean, the content's good. By the way, if bots wanna start signing up to our fucking show, watching, listening to ads and oh, buying yeah. some stuff. Head on in. Get over there, bots. Yeah, head on in. We're not fucking botist. We are not botist. We're botanists. That's a plant. Yeah. Flower person. Plant flower person. Plant That's flowers. what science would say. That's what science would say. Um, so we have a little game. Hot or not? With the holidays. That's cancelable now. Okay. Yeah, All I right. feel like you can't hot or not. <clears throat> with the holidays approaching, we've got underrated or overrated uh, holiday items. Is that like the, is that, is that? Yeah, yeah. I would say underrated versus overrated. Yeah, okay. I, l listen, I love everything about Christmas. So I feel as if everything I'll probably just be a lover of. I'm. Um, a little gringy. Fully prepared to hate on things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's like hop into that. it. I reserve what the a great right dynamic. to not like somebody else's loves. Love it. Run it. Number one. Sugar cookies uh, from the grocery but, store. But not yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just God. any sugar cookies. The it's ones that come the in. Pillsbury sugar cookies that you now, can eat a whole tray of. So now these, now do pre-cut count as the ones in the tube? Because I like the tube version. Are those... Different though, because those are different. Those are different. Uh, yeah, yeah. The tube Walk ones are the tube ones are overrated. Those are fine. These ones are the ones that get put out on every holiday, and they're specifically. The fuck you say? What do the you mean? tube ones are fucking fantastic. They're fine. Are they? I think they're thicker though. They're thicker. Thicker than a snicker. They're not on the same page as these ones. Are you kidding me? The holiday seasonal ones. All right, for my other stay-at-home moms at home, uh, pro tip: when you are halfway through the baking cycle on these bad boys. Yeah. You got to switch to convection. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't, true. I didn't know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until recently yeah. 
the convection oven mm -hmm. really just takes a fan and blows the hot air around versus it kind of just being stagnant. That's like one of those like oven settings that I just like never touched because I just right. didn't know what it was. Right. So, yeah. And what it does is it makes them a little crispy on the outside while still being swathed on the inside. Okay. Well, these ones I want basically raw. So convection no, no. is maybe not the move for this one for me personally, Ooh, but- uh, Are you trying to like bake off? Remy would love, Remy would to, love a to judge a bake off. She would love a bake off. But also too, like Mia also too likes these a little a little crispy and Quick I pause. like these basically raw. Can we get a wide chat? What's what's the penguin doing? What's the penguin doing? It's a heavy head though. It's a heavy but head. But you would think he would put the heavy head on something. No, there's just like not space for it though. Also, I just love the feet in the air. It's so cute. Like you don't care. Feet in the air, Pete's in the air, like you just don't care. A little bean right little, here. Little penguin. Do you think his arm gets tired just like hanging no, all the time? No, I don't think so. I don't think Diggy has many thoughts and feelings to be honest. Yeah, well, he has lots of feelings. Lots of feelings. Not many thoughts. Not many thoughts. All right, back to the way that Mia <laughs> likes her cookies. Mia likes them a little crispy and I like them a little raw. So we like, we'll do a little swap out too where I'll take a bunch out and then hers will stay in for a few minutes and that is friendship. I love that. Next. Hallmark Christmas movies. <sighs> Also, are these are these literal all are these like real covers of yeah. movies? Shut the shut up. You're kidding. So they had one wardrobe budget. Shut. <laughs> they're they're literally all wearing the same quarter zip. Right. They're basically all the same movie. I um, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever watched a Hallmark Christmas movie. Okay, you love a bad no, no, Christmas movies. No, no. Yeah, but they're always on Netflix. Like the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie. Can't wait. The Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell Christmas movie. Can't wait. I've been saving them. I think they're all fucking trash. These ones are probably trash. Yes, they're absolutely I mean, trash. <laughs> they, like, there's no way they like. I I have a feeling they 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 brought in D list actors. Well, D list actors, but like, well, you never know. Who they brought in B yeah. B to C list writers, and we're like, we want right. eight eight scripts. Yeah, <laughs> we're fucking eight scripts. It's good. We're gonna shoot this it's in eight, four days. It's eight a.m. Yep. We want we want mm -hmm. you out here by noon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking go. Yep. Go with the ideas. Yep. Yeah. 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 I, I just genuinely think, and they're just like, all right. Here's what we got. Here's your viewer. Georgia. It's No, it's Donna. Arkansas. It's Donna. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's Donna. This in Lifetime? Yeah. Run it up. Rockford, Illinois. Run it up. Age 62. 64? Five. All right, there goes your delight status. Next. What is it? 65. Oh yeah. What do you mean? That's extra delight if I say that she's 62 and she's actually 65? That's extra delightful. What, the, what do you mean? Yeah. If you're gonna fake the age, starting with the number six would not have been what she wants. Mm, like a 40, 42 type of situation. I think she would have probably even just been like a 51. Right, right. Even 55, 50, that's a whole decade. 54, yeah, 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 exactly. Wow, we'll see. Now you just fucking just ram it at yeah, home there. Yeah, okay. Eggnog. I think eggnog's fucking nasty. I'd rather drink my own nut. That's revolting and the most disgusting thing you've ever said. <laughs> You want to, I that. know that's actually revolting. <laughs> I, let's put both of those in front of Jeremy and really see if he stays by that. Do I, can I <laughs> yeah, put, I know. Can seriously. I put cinnamon in one? I know. I mean, I swear to God, there's nothing more disgusting to me than the thought of the nog of egg. I also can't what just, is the I, nog I can't of egg? get on board with alcoholic drinks that have any kind of like dairy, even like around it, a dairy adjacent. All right, well, let's, don't get ridiculous. It's not for me. Really? It's not for me. I mean, that you're, you're bringing in two different things. Eggnog to me yeah, tastes, I mean, and I'm not kidding. Like that's one of those things where someone would be like, oh, just gotta have a little glass. Just try it. Just have one. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm 30 fucking years old. I've tried this every year. Yep. I still yep. hate it. I'm not gonna like yours. I'm not gonna like yours. I'm not gonna like yours. And in fact, if you make me fucking drink it, I'm not gonna like you. 100%. It's not and for if me. that makes me Scrooge and Grinch combined, call me the fucking Grinch. Let's talk about apple toddies though. Apple toddies, fuck. Fire. Yeah, it's fine. Fuck. Eggnog, overrated. Yeah. I, you know what though? I don't even think people feel strongly about eggnog. You no, know what I mean? No, people do. Like, That's the yeah. issue. Yeah. Ugh, I kind of yeah. in the same group as like a fruit cake, like a dry ass fruit cake. That meatloaf and fucking- uh, That'll all die with the older generation, the boomers. No, who were with the other day? They were like, I love meatloaf. Oh, Mia. Mia loves meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah, you're Fuck right. it. Yeah, like Mia. Mm -hmm. Why? Get off the loaf. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I love a Tim Burton movie. This gives me the ick. Why? What do you mean the ick? I don't like this type of animation. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, it's okay. It's scary to me. So like a Wallace and Gromit doesn't do it for you either? No, my God, no. I no. love Wallace 
Let's grab but that's it. Clay- chicken run? That's claymation, right? Yeah, claymation. Yeah, same, oh, same like style. I was devastated. Once I like fully understood and like, like was able to digest the concept of chicken run, devastated. What do you mean? Making chicken pies? They're running away from making, getting made into chicken pies. Well, you just ruined that for me. Um, I- Love also- Wilson Gromit. Love Tim like, like, movies. You mean like a chicken pot pie? Yeah. Love chicken pot pie. Yeah, but you don't want to get attached to the main character who could be a chicken pot pie. Are you sure you buy now? He's pot pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to get to know him and fall in love with him. Right. It's like Marley and me. I'd be like, oh God. Okay, I, th- I refuse to that watch that. Same those logic dog would videos. say we wouldn't have two dogs. I don't understand. Babe. What? One day. You're going to make them into chicken pot pie? Well, we're not gonna eat them. No, but one day. What do you mean? <sighs> it's like explaining death to a child. For we their got the time. lifetime warranty. I know, I know. But remember you submitted that claim two days early for Diggy? No. Yeah. Lifetime warranty. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Starbucks red cups. Oh, I like a Starbucks red cup. I feel like it's like, it is the season. Give me a red cup. As people get real polarized about this. It's, yeah, people get really excited when the when it's like, oh, it's officially red cup season. Also Starbucks has done an incredible job of making this like an iconic thing. thing for like all like, of like the basic- switch the, the color world. of the cups. And people get really excited. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Also, I've never seen the purple cup before. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah I, 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 well, it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. But like, I'm glad it does things for other people. Yeah. Okay, you're bit- not gonna, you're not gonna yuck my yum. Never thought about it like that. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> elf on the shelf. Don't care. Oh, we were too old for Elf Never on the Shelf. Never heard of it. Yeah, exactly. We weren't the, we weren't the uh, generation for Elf on the Shelf. I'm with you. Gonna be honest though. So I had my best friend in elementary school from like grade one through three before she moved. I was devastated by it. And she- also, She's like me like holding- I Diggie's know, Diggy's pot. <laughs> he, so their family had this thing called boots where they would put these red boots around the house. It was basically the same. They basically invented Elf on the Shelf, but there's no, these it's like- No, a German tradition. Oh, is it? Yeah, look that up. It's you put shoes- Boots, red boots. Sure. Santa but, boots. But it's like, you would put shoes, I believe outside the house, but German oh, no, tradition- no, 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 this Christmas. wasn't, this wasn't it. Yeah, no, they, they borrowed it from this. Oh my God. St. Nicholas. Died. Donna just texted me, speak of the devil. That guy or Donna? I want to know what I want for Christmas. Oh my God, your your mom is about to adopt another dog. Also, I love that I'm getting the breaking news and you didn't. It's not, what the it's fuck? No. not a group chat, I'm Wait, so really? sorry. No, but- yeah, it's not a group chat. Is she still coming to Christmas? What? <laughs> she literally is, oh my God, breaking news. Okay, Everly is crated in a shelter in Kentucky, not a foster home. She's a bigger dog than, than I wanted and looks maybe too much like Berkeley. What should I do? Two-year-old doodle mix, adopt a pet. Oh my God. I think you should come to Christmas, mother. Also, this doodle is not super cute. Wait, so let me get this right. Lauren got this grand text. Yes. Before Jeremy. Yeah, because she knows what my face is going to look like. My God, that means she made it. Uh Uh Uh-huh. Also, Donna knows that Jeremy's not going to text her back and I will. Yeah, she gets, I'll, I'll recap. All seven of her. Wow, breaking news. That is so exciting. Okay. So should I tell you that not to adopt though until January? Why don't you just put this this one down? We'll hold this. We'll, we'll put a hold on this. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We'll we'll address this. What were we just like? Oh, oh. So her family did this thing called like it, I don't even know. It's basically Saint Nicholas Day. Huh? Yeah. This, this is where the tradition came. I'm telling you. Right okay, now. go ahead. Read it. Read it, and I'll tell you how close it is. Right, so they so Nicholas spelled Nicholas or Nicklaus is the patron saint of children, and and his feast day is celebrated on December sixth. The German St. Nicholas tradition is still very strong. Children put their shoes, put out their shoes, hoping they will be filled with goodies and presents. Oh yeah, no, no, this is not close at all. This is closer to Elf on a Shelf. So love that for the Germans. That's great. That's really quaint. Um, <laughs> the Germans. The Germans. But this one is they had these Santa boots. They were red and they would move them around the house when the kids weren't looking. And it was called boots. Like it was like Santa's little helper elf mini plastic boot Santa situation. And it was like, oh, Boots is watching. So like, make sure you're good in December or else like you're, they're gonna go up to the North Pole and tell Santa. And the way that I believed in like this so deeply 
was insane. You believed I, in it? Oh and it my wasn't God. in your family? Oh my God, it wasn't even my family. Cause like I would go to her house and be like, oh my God, like I think I just saw Boots move. Oh my God. And it would move from like the bathroom to like someone's bedroom and we'd all like freak the fuck out that like Boots had moved. I so deeply believed in this. It was insane. I was also the kid that believed in Santa probably much longer than the average child. I understand. But I was, I was, I was in on Boots. I was sold. Honestly, I was the most ideal child to have like Christmas excitement. <laughs> Pull up that last fucking picture of Lauren in AI. <laughs> <laughs> That's her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Oh yeah. Anderson Cooper and um, I'm blanking on his name right now. Honestly, I don't Andy care Cohen. who the other guy is because Anderson Cooper is so fucking funny. I actually, this is wildly underrated because he just gets lit every year. And also Liza Koshy, again, hosting this year, did last year. <sighs> and also co-hosting this year. You're also forgetting my former fucking client, which is bottom left on the screen. Oh yeah, love that for them. Yeah. Love so that for them. The little Twitter feed there. This truly though is so underrated and Anderson Cooper getting drunk uh, for New Year's, I think is hysterical. Well, yeah, but like Andy Cohen is a fucking king of just like pushing the envelope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, cause like Anderson Cooper, I think it's a perfect example of the environment that's created. Mm -hmm. Gets a different, cause like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. You know, goddamn well. Goddamn. Out of the fucking realm of television. Uh -huh. Anderson's gonna like let loose a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And Andy's just gonna bring that with him to television. Yes. And I fucking love it. I think this is wildly underrated. Because I think Andy Cohen's show is on TV. Bravo. Yeah, Bravo, which is owned by the same company as CNN. Okay. Right? So like, there's a reason that it's all tied into that. It's mm -hmm. all Turner Broadcasting mm -hmm. Systems, TBS, right? And so like, they get them together and it's a fucking ratings palooza. I love it. It's it, the best. My favorite is that like, even like the Donnas of the world uh -huh. would watch to CNN. To get on board, yeah. 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 Brought together by Anderson Cooper. And Andy. And Andy. Disgusting. Who candy canes. actually eats candy canes? The same people that eat fucking candy apple suckers. That's entirely untrue and I will not tolerate that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I put eggnog, this, and fucking candy canes all in the same category. Did Puppy. they ever have the funky flavored ones at yeah. school? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when you someone came to school with like a bubble gum or a butterscotch, I was like, no, why, mm -hmm. why? We used to decorate our tree sometimes with candy canes. Yeah. And like if I was desperate, like trying to like, steal some kind of candy from like my house at like a bad time of day. You know what I mean? When you're not supposed to be eating candy, like maybe in desperation I'd go for a candy cane, but like think not just, my first choice. Kind of like light, like klepto behavior there. Yeah, maybe it's my own tree. It's not klepto behavior. Really? Your own tree? Yeah. Also it's candy. Okay. It's yeah, not a crime. Seriously, it's did you, fine. Did your mom like not let you eat candy whenever? Uh, No, I, I probably ate a decent amount of candy. Yeah, like, yeah. My mom like never told me like, don't eat that. The only thing I really was like that I feel like my parents are strict on was like the hardcore sugary cereal. You mean just cereal? No, no, no. Like I can have, and like I don't really know the line of like what was okay and what was not okay was like a little blurry because like cinnamon toast crunch, yes. Cookie crisp, no. But like Lucky <laughs> Charms. All I'm hearing Lucky is- Lucky Charms was no. Lucky Charms was like a special occasion cereal because it had marshmallows. This is presentation. This is title. I'm, I'm hearing title. Title what? Cinnamon toast crunch, yeah. toast. Crunch, yeah. cinnamon, yeah. okay. Yeah. But the cookie crunch, mm -hmm. all the difference is mm -hmm. cookie, dessert, cinnamon toast, mm -hmm. not Breakfast. dessert. You're so right. Yeah. The They're subliminal. Bias. Yeah. Title bias. Yeah. You're so right. Yeah. You're so right. A Christmas story. I fucking hate this movie. If I never have to see this thing yeah, again. Yeah. I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> Yeah. My That's dad, my, my dad loves this movie. And I, it's also, so. it's like, this is three hours. This is really long, right? At least, no. at least. Will you Google the runtime on this? Because this movie is so damn it's long. It's like it never went to the editor's bay. And usually on Christmas Eve, my family and I watch a Christmas movie. And the one year that my dad won and got to pick the Christmas movie, I, it was, it was miserable. Hour and 50 minutes. Feels like three. Feels at least like three. Feels like three. Maybe I mean, four. this is, this isn't that far off from, um, oh fuck. What is it? Fucking, uh, please hold. Oh yeah, an hour and a half. Hour and 50. That's the new one. <laughs> That's the new one. Oh yeah, they released a new one. Yeah, things Not I won't be watching. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> overrated. <laughs> Honestly, this and Citizen Kane are both to me just, and I, I get it, it's Devin, the, Devin. the number one movie ever. But there, the director has literally admitted to having the scene where the, the crow flies in front of the camera and squawks really loud uh -huh. to wake people up who might be dozing. 
Citizen Kane is a staple in the film. Totally. History. Totally. It's number one. That and Casablanca right there, one and two. I don't need to see them again. All film study majors, please take your headphones off and uh, <laughs> exit this podcast right now. I'm Listen, so it's, sorry. It's, it's, it's genius. It's amazing. And it, it, it transcended and made things mm. beyond it. I don't give a fuck. Okay. But I think it's amazing that other people got something out of it. Okay. I respect it. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm yeah. not going to yuck your yum. I'm just yucking it for me. Okay. I respect it. Yuck your yuck. Yeah. But I want whoever's interested in that five and a half hour yeah. black and white piece of fucking <laughs> literature to really get off on it. I love it. It's not for me. <laughs> Sitting on Santa's lap at the mall. I'll throw a beard on. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I don't want to sit on Santa's lap, but I will say since Guess getting my beard a dog, oh. I do love a Santa <laughs> Christmas photo. With the dogs on Santa's lap? Well, just like near Santa. See, like I taking think... your dog to go for the Santa Christmas fo like photo is fucking adorable. All right, here's my thought. This hot... is millennials without kids. No, hot take. I think parents got real fuck. Well, I think corporate America and parents got real fucking ballsy with this one. Okay, the idea. And in your own home, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. version of Santa- At the mall. Comes in and does, no, 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 moving boots and shit. Mm -hmm. I get it. There's a story there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, in our house, we have a special relationship with the North Pole. Yeah. And the North Pole for the entire month leading up to Christmas- I'm dying at this voice. Is coming to make sure that the kids were, were naughty or nice. This is like movie-, movie And then give that information voice. back to Santa. Yeah. And I also understand what it's like, in our home, Santa comes in the morning, <laughs> whereas your friends, maybe Santa comes in the afternoon. I get that too. Yeah. But in our city of Rockford, Illinois, at the Cherry Vale Mall, <laughs> also in McChesney Park, at that mall, also in All Naperville. All at the same time. Also, We've got our Santa and Santa. You're so right. I never even thought about that. He's always there at all times. And if you were to leave one place. You know, don't. And wanna... go to the next one, he'd still fucking be there. That's ballsy. They got, they, they reached too far. That was the fact. I'm not kidding. As like a third grader, I was like, mom, last year we went to the Santa at that mall. Right. Where, went, where was he this year? Well, he's at this one. This but... is why I'm the ideal child for Christmas. I never thought about no, this No, because I'm not going to I never thought about this until right now. Diggy's never looked cuter. 20, gonna, at 29, this, I've not never gonna, thought about this. At, at age nine, I was mm -hmm. just like, that's not physically possible. That's not how, that's not how, that's not how I was that's like, let's go on Santa tour and meet all the Santas. How could you think, how could you, how could you possibly? Jeremy, get in the Christmas spirit. No. I have they, to meet all the Santas. That took me out of the Christmas spirit. <laughs> that one thing, they overreached. God, what a realist. God damn. Okay, can I say the one thing I took from that was should Jeremy be a voice actor? Yes, absolutely. Oh my. Like I, a little, like a little, um, it's the the person who's like narrating 90s, the movie trailer. 90s movie trailers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, like um, uh, uh, The Holiday, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies that is underrated Christmas movie, okay. except for everyone loves this that one. Season. Yeah, Jack Black. Coming Remember that was like his, his whole you. thing? Love it. Okay, next yeah. one. Um, Ugly Christmas sweaters. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. Also, like as a as a like a, a crafty DIYer, I feel like people really get on board and like really, really get in the holiday fucking DIY spirit when they've got a, a Christmas sweater party to go to. I um And I you can also buy an ugly Christmas sweater now too. You know what I mean? So it's like if you go to a party, it's like you can either make one, you can thrift one, or you can literally buy one on Amazon. There's the, 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 every single H and M piece in my closet yeah. is an ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah. I agree. I think I have yeah. two. Like that I just keep on hand. Yeah. I don't mind. Baby holiday photo shoots. Is he in gravy? That's or a hot, hot chocolate. chocolate, that's you hot chocolate. Fuck. I Look at the honest. marshmallows. Real quick. Can we see why that's weird? We put the baby in hot chocolate. Would I, I would put moose and diggy. You're like, you're like burning the baby. Yeah, that's like satanic Are you Christmas. Kidding? I would put moose and diggy in a little cup of hot chocolate so fast. I assume this is what Kanye wanted for like his like kids like photo shoot. Do you think it's actual liquid though? I think it's probably gravy. What's like, they're gonna put their baby in gravy? That's more fucked up than hot chocolate. Yeah, but like, you know how food styling is. They don't use milk. Yeah. Well, no, it's probably like brown color dyed water then. I don't know if that would photograph as brown though. Anyway, listen, for a baby photo shoot, yes, I'm on board because I would do that with the pups in an instant. Putting your baby in gravy to call it hot chocolate, a little weird. I think it's very weird. <laughs> um, I'm. I'm good on everybody else's children. Um, yeah, me too. Like, if Show you me ask, your dogs. Like if you ask me to hold your child. The answer is no. No. If you say just for a second, no. If you say it's an emergency, no. Still no. <laughs> I don't want your kids. Give me your dog though. Yeah, give me a fucking dog. 
50-50 on your cat. Okay, so if it was a dog holiday photo shoot Absolutely. to this extreme, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. And of course, our child will be adorable. Right. Unless it looks like Lauren. They're going to be fucking. I was adorable. She looked like the set of a bar. I can't believe your mom wants to adopt a dog. Uh, well, I can't either because I'm not aware of it yet. <laughs> oh, classic. Elf. Love Elf. Classic. Love this Elf. Is, this is real entertainment. It almost feels like offensive to say underrated because that's like assuming that not everyone is on board with loving Elf. So it just like, it's just iconic. Like, like comedy movies, making comedy good is not easy. No. And making Christmas making movies good. Making Christmas not comedy, easy. not easy. Christmas comedy? Yeah. You fucking Impossible. Kidding? Yeah, Will Ferrell's out here doing it. That's why I think the new one's going to be good. Him and Ryan Reynolds. I, I hope so. I'm so excited. Can I watch that without you this week? Or you wouldn't let us watch it a few weeks ago. You can watch it. Okay, great. I'll have to watch everything else. Mariah Carey's classic, All I Want for Christmas <laughs> is you. <laughs> well, I... I just want to remind you that we share the law firm with um, Mariah Carey's uh, hmm. uh, partner. So let's just, well, just listen, relax. I feel, I feel impartial to this. I'm more of an Ariana Grande Christmas girly and not so much a Mariah Carey Christmas girly, but I'm impartial. Like I wouldn't skip the song, you know what I mean? On the Christmas playlist, but I wouldn't I wanna I check wouldn't the, just go. real quick, I wanna check the scoreboard. Let's just check the scoreboard. Oh yeah, I mean, what do you mean she wins? She her win. career her career literally is fueled and funded by Christmas. That's not entirely She true. makes 92 million per year off of this one That's song. what I'm saying, yeah. Or no, wait, sorry, she's made 92 oh, million, she's million in million total year. off yeah. of this song. I mean, that's crazy. That's still a lot I for one song. I love that for her, a Christmas queen. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. just I'm just saying scoreboard, okay? And I'm a big Ariana fan as well. Yeah. But we- Oh, I mean, no, no, I'd no. I'd be remiss like, if I didn't mention the fact Personal that. favorite is Ariana for yeah. Christmas, but like- I'm in. I'm, 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 uh, I'm- You won't catch me slandering no, Mariah Carey no, exactly. anytime soon. No. Or defaming. Uh, we kind of talked about it last week, but white elephant. I like a white elephant. I'm a big Yankee swap guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, last year at our white elephant, um, I- What's going on with your feet here, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see them? Yep. I only in the wide shot. Anyway. <laughs> Lauren sits bow-legged. Anyway, last year for Christmas. Last year for White Elephant, we did um, one with Asian Girl Squad and Significant Others. And I was like, what can I buy that's just so fucking random? But also would be, like I wanted to bring something that was in a really weird shape. Cause I feel like people get like intrigued by a weird shaped present. And so I found this like four foot baguette plushie and I'm not kidding. Cal, Remy's boyfriend had never been so elated to get this baguette plushie. And All I'm not kidding. Were like it's a staple on their couch. It's a always there. Staple. It's always there. And like every day, Cal takes a nap. I get a I get a photo from Remy almost on the daily of Cal napping on his baguette. I won White Elephant. I won. Yes. Cal, Cal won, but I also won. Yes. <laughs> the Home Alone movies. I'm impartial. Oh, Jeremy hates them. The best thing about Home Alone. Yeah. Is that. It gave a enough visibility mm. to Macaulay Culkin's brother, so that he could be on Succession. Oh, that shot! I know exactly. That's his brother. Hold up! I know exactly which guy you're talking about because they Devin, look identical. Don't look at me like that, <gasps> Devin. Come on! Are you fucking with me? You're totally fucking with me. No, Kieran Culkin. Oh my the god! The best thing about the Home Alone movies. <laughs> Did you know that Ashton Kutcher has a twin? I did. Yes. Karen's 5'6 with that pasture. That's tough. That <laughs> is. Lauren, what? you're not 5'6. You've never fucking been 5'6. I've been 5'6. Yeah, I just mean that he wouldn't make the cutoff for my dating situation. Well, sorry, Karen. You'd, I'd date you. <laughs> wow. Oof. They just make 5'6 kids. Wow. You didn't know he was his brother? I had no idea. No. I wonder how much in, in like royalties, <laughs> et cetera, that Macaulay Culkin still makes from Home Alone. If he was a kid, I guarantee it was work for hire. Oh my God. Do we know who Macaulay's married to? No. Who? Brenda Song. Yep. Brenda Song, an icon from Zach and Cody. Who's Brenda Song? <laughs> super hot Asian. Let's pull her up. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. She's not super she hot. She was London from the Tipton. 
She is super hot. Let me see. Are you kidding? Yeah, she's so see. hot. All right, take it back. Yeah, it's Brenda not, Song. Yeah. So hot. Oh, her name's like Song, but Song. Not Song. X I O N G. Oh. Huh. Didn't know. Anyway, she was London. No, wait. Yeah, her name was London, right from the Tipton? London Tipton. Zach and Cody. London Tipton? No, no, she lived at the Tipton. Oh, no, her oh, name was right. London Tipton. You're right, her London dad Tipton. Owned it. Yes, 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 yes. Ugh, iconic character. Yep. <laughs> Classic ice skating. <laughs> this is Jeremy's Fuck favorite off. winter activity. <laughs> I'm a fucking savant on the blades. <laughs> Jeremy was such a good sport when he came um, back with me after we've been dating for two minutes and to my family Christmas for the first time, we went skating. Let's go ice skating. And he was such a good sport because you, have you skated before? No. Yeah. Yeah. You How'd did. you miss that one? I know, right? I just don't understand. Like usually places, cities, especially like smaller cities that have winter, usually it's like a staple because there's not really anything else to do. Yeah. Missed me. Miss mm. me. I, I I have been I had been ice skating. I'd oh, okay. Been You'd been like once or twice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't fall. Wasn't graceful. I didn't fall. You're right. You didn't fall. Yeah. If I'd fallen. Oh, oh my shit. god. He would have been. You would have never heard the end of it. Miserable. He would never been heard miserable. the end of it. Miserable. This is one of those things that I would never even make Jeremy do because it would actually be less enjoyable for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but you finally learned that like, I don't need to. I don't no. need to participate. No. Just do you think? Yeah. You, and also, you want to fucking- We're probably going to go to LA Live and ice skate when my circle. parents get here and you'll just hang and get a drink. I'll be here. Yeah. With the pups. <gasps> no, you said you'd come. See, Lauren is obsessed with like full participation. Yeah. Like this is why like- Come participate. Can, I can't imagine a world where like we just had a kid that didn't want to do stuff with us. Like Lauren would not comprehend it. No, no, no. Why aren't you participating? Come participate. I know. Get a hot toddy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Love a hot toddy. Nothing I love skating. Christmas like downtown Los Angeles. The LA, the LA live tree is incredible. We were Gorgeous. honestly impressed. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Sign me up, Nick Christ. Nick Christ? <laughs> Saint Nick. Um, photo doesn't really describe it, but getting blacked out with your family. Oh. I oh no, this is not for me. This is, this is not for me. No, it's, this is, this is danger zone. Also, this is, this right here, this photo is uh, me, Gail and Donna celebrating that we got through the holidays without <laughs> talking about politics or religion right yeah, here. Yeah, good fucking All luck. these big smiles here. Good luck. No. Absolutely not. We Fru we literally right. referred to how this is nasty ass. Which is? Fruitcake. Yeah, so fruitcake. Who even likes fruitcake? You know what? Mia does. Fucking Mia. Really? Our meatloaf queen. See now, what I don't gene? Know. I'm not sure. What is she? What did she inherit? I'm not sure. That needs to be eradicated. It's so questionable. Yeah. I know. I, I'm also kind of like shocked that like, outside of like, decorations, uh -huh. it's even edible. I know, it's not, it's so dry. They have one at Costco that honestly is about a foot and a half tall. Like it's so dense. It's like honestly the shape of a bowling ball and the same weight. It is insane. The amount of ingredients that have to go into making that fucking thing yeah. too. Yeah, hard pass. Are those jujubes on top? I've always wondered what the red and green things are. What is that? Jujubes? Yeah. Berries? <laughs> no. No, there's not berries. not berries. Can you Google it? What's on top of a fruitcake? What is that? I've always wondered. Apricot glaze, mm, that sounds, yummy. That actually sounds not bad. No, it's disgusting. It's almost more questionable that it's inconclusive. You know what I mean? That we still don't really know what it is. Please leave your best guesses in the comments down below. Um, putting cookies out for Santa. My parents, a big fan. Greg specifically, huge fan. Yeah, I think this is necessary. <laughs> I think so too. Carrots for the reindeer and cookies for milk, for milk and cookies. You know what's so funny now thinking about how it's Carrots probably like- Carrots for reindeer. It's probably like soy milk, almond milk, right. like dairy free, <laughs> lactose free. See, if I was a kid and I was trying to get to the bottom of this thing, I would give my lactose intolerant parents some real dairy just to see what fucking happens. God. And the next day when dad- Is shitting. Is shitting, I go, I knew it. I <laughs> Fucking no. Way to ruin Christmas, Jeremy. Wow, that's the Christmas magic spirit. You know what else? That's, that's fucking that's a movie scene. That's glue. In that cup. Oh, yeah, in that picture. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's also it's white glue. Yeah. We're ruining it for everybody at home. Glue. Elmer's. Oh, that was the last one. Over underrated um, dressing your dogs up in uh, new, unique onesies every day oh, of the Christmas holiday. My dream. My dream, the 12 days of onesies. We should really just do a full photo shoot and just do a calendar for next year ahead of time. I did a calendar one year for Moose. Yeah? 
but it was more just like existing photos. But I think since we've only had Diggy for like a month and a half now, I think 2023 might be the year when I have enough to make a calendar for 2024. I love that. Yeah. And um, hopefully we have all of our beans. I literally already missed the pups. No, we're there, we fine. Um, uh, this is what gonna be on our second or third to last week of the year? Second last week of the year. Wow. Second last happy of the year. That's great. I know, we I made know. it another year down. I know. Another year down. Um, comment below on all of your, um, uh, uh, if you agree or if we missed one or if you wanna yell at us for missing one of the most important over and under. Um, or rating. if you want to berate Jeremy for some of, for yucking your yum. I didn't yuck your yum, I yucked the yuck for me. Okay. Yuck the yum for oh, me. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, we, what is life without opinions? Peaceful. It's peaceful. <laughs> okay. On Land, that note. vanilla. I'm going to Big Bear. Goodbye. Latvia, it's been a blast. And also to the other top countries that listen to us being Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Germany. Germany. Germany or South Africa. I don't know. If you watch us, we fucking love you. See you next week. Bye. Oh, diggy.